Hello everyone. Thank you for joining me here. My name is Mr. Mocha Lover. I am your armchair general. So, let us continue our little campaign here. By All these means. boyos decided, hey, we're going to rush around song to Albanus. And I'm like, no! Ready to serve. We gotta fight him. Oh, wait. We're almost roughly equal in terms of numbers. They have quite a few units, just like me. I have more units, but mine are more damaged. But the balance of power... You know what? They're laying siege. I'm thinking we just might want to auto-do this one, just because it's so far in our favor. Oh, we do have swordsmen, though. That might make a huge difference. So let's just do that and go ahead. Oh, let's be really aggressive. Duking it out. We didn't lose any units. Oh, oh, shit. That was really good. Ah, yes. Enred. No match for Alfred. Oh. Both our names end in red. We must be on the British Isles. Alright, let's see. Kill them. Oh, replenishment. Money. Let's replenish our own armies. Oh, that was great. We await your commands. Cool. Now let's just go out and uh, kill him. Glory awaits us. Uh, there wouldn't be really much of a point for me to actually fight this one. They're all gonna die anyway, so let's be aggressive. Up oh, and you got a sword through your throat. That makes sure that you probably won't live for very long. And I was right. Cool. Keep replenishing our armies. Nice. Uh, one thing though, I was thinking, you know, if I always replenish my armies with my enemies, wouldn't these guys eventually rebel? Like, just saying. Also, between this episode and the last, I just wanted to see what would happen. But I have Earl Thangans, but I I have Earl Thangans now, compared to my Royal Thangans. Wait. One of these guys is different. Yeah, Earl Thangans compared to regular Thangans. So they cost a little bit more per turn, about 12 more gold. But they're, I would say, maybe they're about worth it. So, I also upgraded one of my Axemen, so I went Sioral Axemen up to Fjord Axemen, so they're slightly stronger, slightly more morale, so. We now with this guy, let us take Roots for yes. Oh, we could sack it, but Agreed. I'm probably just going to occupy all these territories now. Low loyalty, Ethelvod. Huh. Nice. Hunting Lodge. Obedience. Aethel Swift. Oh! Aethelvald. Where is he on the map? He is my nephew who just turned 16. Declare air, no. Secure loyalty. That cost me quite a bit of money. Where is he? Ooh, I could. Oh, I could make him give him an office. Seal command. Uh, is this him? We will do no, our that's. Utmost. He's got eight loyalty. Ready to serve. Bertwald. Bertwald. Oh, Aethwald. But Aethwald. Hmm. Governors and estates. Is he over? Is he not, he's not a governor. Oh, yeah. He's over here. Oh, he just came to B. He has lowest states. He has victories against separatists. He's not on the map, though. I just conquered Hutford. Which is really good. I have 10 influence. I could get rid of this. Give my, the furthest domains away from my capital. Newly conquered stuff to other people. Okay. Okay, I thought we were, we were going to have a problem, but now he's fairly loyal, my influence is still very high, and he's got six loyalty. That's good. I thought we were going to have a problem there, but now we're not. Warp River is good. We did get one more for our feared. Uh, let's see. You. Forces in good order. You know, these people, they don't like me regardless. It's already negative three. Lunden is doing very good. They're very happy. The governor is doing fairly well. 
you're gonna heal up, to and we're gonna continue striking out. You guys have zero happiness, but that's okay. But you could quickly have more happiness. The men have they have one guy, so let's see what happens. Attack the foe! Of course! Occupy, we could sack it. Claim the riches as your own. The money portion isn't really worth it to me. I mean, not really. Occupy it. It will be. We will prevail. And he's got no skill. He must have just been raised. Let's go ahead and kill him. Oh, and the Viking died. Yay! Let's just kill him. Reached a new wreck. Nice. The men are ready to. And he got an upgrade. Thumbs up. Very loyal. Fairly influential. Good commander. Nice. Ooh, upkeep cost is really low. This is my air, I think. And it's really good. More movement range. More supplies. Uh, I will need to have more units in this army, though, as we start to approach Colnesester. Obviously, some of these regions still want to rebel. You're only negative two, so I'm not really worried about that. You're negative four, even though we just got you. So far, this is really good. We, as a faction, are expanding. This makes me happy. You guys, uh, yeah, I can do much there. You, we could make a church. That'll make you happier. You know what? Since we have that, we could probably recruit one more unit. Hertford. We need more bows, though. More melee. Spears are okay. They're not great. Skirmishers. Hopefully they won't attack me anytime soon. Let's not increase that unit size. Let's build something else up first. And we're also trying to get our boys over here as well. I could upgrade some units, but that means they'll cost more. I could upgrade these units, but it might be best if we upgrade our cities. More money is always a great thing. Nothing here. I could create something here. I am trying to get to a tavern soon. Market. Fur production from all hunting villages. Market all regions and adjacent things. Yeah, market would be best there. Let's probably build this. Let's just build this. Four turns, we will have tavern. It would be great. Alright, let's end our turn and see what mess is going to happen next. Someone's probably going to attack me. Winnid, right. Is that Stonehenge? I think that's Stonehenge. Cool. Stonehenge is here in the game. I wonder when the next Viking invasion will be. Not really ready for it. Let's see what happens. I grow ever stronger. Okay, he grew he does grow ever stronger. But oh. So where are these guys at? Hyro Helleborg. Helleborg, huh? I guess they're up here. Wait, these are rebels? Cool. Hunting um good. Oh, they have a new army over there. I could potentially take that army out over here. Let's upgrade that guy as I grow ever themselves. stronger. Quartermaster, a priest would be good, but he already has nine loyalty. His person, his wife is extremely loyal. This will give you even more supplies and reduce your upkeep cost. Even though you don't have no units underneath you. This province, the negative one, which is good. This next one is at negative three, not bad. What are my missions? Objectives. Missions. Eliminate East Angle, which we're trying to do. And eventually we'll take out Glissly. Glissless. If this. If this if like, we your commands. All right, pretty good. For the Angleken. Rootsford. Building up a lot of stuff. I don't see the point of not trying to attack this area next. Also, it's Meldun. They're unhappy. because Probably because they have salt. But they do have some supplies. 
And if I take this area out, they may lose their farm. Farm. Oh, they have a farm there. Yeah, they'll probably starve a little bit more. I like that idea. One army. Let's be very aggressive. I keep killing their generals. This is great. Death to the Viking generals. Uh, we might as well put them within our ranks. Good. Good job. The men have trained for this. Uh, let's just occupy it. Oh, we could sack it. It's worth quite a bit. That's okay. Now we've got. Oh, that unhappiness now. Ooh. Oh, we've got, oh, no wonder they're so unhappy. They've got so much salt here. They're so salty. Uh, ten percent chance of rebellion. That's not good. They have quite a few supplies. The men are ready to serve. They did increase their fear limit. You guys are actually not bad. I could probably move you guys we out. Do our utmost. We could attack this group right here. All forces in good order. You guys still have one happiness. The men are ready you guys to will eventually serve. heal up. 95 guys. 37. Let battle commence. No one's here. Let's just occupy it. So be it. Awesome. 95. 37. Ooh, negative eight. So now I've got to stop attacking and assaulting because I've got to make sure that this happiness increases eventually. More supplies would be good. We've got quite a bit of this. Risk of rebellion. West Siax. East Siax. I'm West Siax. You're East Siax. All right. Well, uh, since I have two armies here, I'm not too worried about it. But and I have another one coming up. Hopefully soon. The Wild Hawks. Cool. So far so good. We've increased our counter unit unit counter again. We await your Can I increase no. Cannot recruit. Hmm. The farms are doing very well. You have one percent chance to rebel. Sancta Albanis, you guys are doing well. Pretty good it has a military base. More armor, church monies, very happy, water mill, ooh, a water mill. Less money, less food, quite a bit less food. Let's see, how about here? Great hall, here we can do even more money, more supplies, more money and food, more, un more unhappiness. Bridgeport, Totanis, negative one happiness is not bad, really not bad. Wareham, we need that mint. Ooh, tavern. Hmm, a mint. The men are ready to An alehouse. Ultimately, you get more happiness, money, and unit morale in the province, or more money and more trade faction wide. Uh, well, does anything else reduce my happiness? This gives me more happiness. Plus five, and this will eventually give me what? Minus ten, ooh. That is not good. I'm thinking we should go with the, this. Happiness is overrated, we don't need happiness. Besides, all these things will be built eventually. I'm, I want more money. Let's build that as well. Farms are great, great institutions. Uh, other than that, uh, we, do, we, we build another unit, but we don't have enough. Oh, wait, we have enough for a bow. And the last bit of money that we hopefully can spend, we upgrade our units Just a little bit. Cool. All right, let's end our turn. Very good. Honestly, I might be able to take Colniester next turn and leave uh, my 17 unit army here in defense. Where are you going? Huh? You, you want to get destroyed, boy? So far, so good.
Right. What is next? Oh, Witten Army Options. You call the Witten together to discuss the state of the army. The nobles, who make up the Witten, have a wide range of experience and include former military commanders, as well as administrators used to managing the coffers. With limited resources, it is important to decide on future priorities as your fighting force. We reduce spending, may cause some grumbling in the ranks, inspirational speech, men who are inspired to give more may expect more in return, better boots, issuing those to fight for you with decent footwear will allow them to march further and faster. Push them hard. Give them greater combat experience and toughen them up. So do you want better experienced soldiers, faster soldiers, uh, can be inspirational to give more may expect more in return. The more they give, the more they expect in return, so that might be money cost. You could reduce spending. Uh, well, the distance right now is okay, except for that one army trying to get up here. Push your warriors with greater combat experience and toughen them up. Uh, let's push them hard. I grow ever stronger. So, oh well, shit. Well, that was wrong. Plus two XP for units per turn, but negative 25% campaign movement range for all armies. God dang it! I should have done the other one. Oh well. Let's see. So you're a general. You're pretty loyal. Reduce upkeep, more supplies. You are a governor who's pretty loyal. He's an exemplar. He's a scribe. You can get more governance, more money, less corruption. I like it. Who's next? This governor is fairly loyal as well. He's proud, so he's no real traits as governance. Industry. More loyalty would be okay. Forger. Scribe. Uh, probably just loyalty. Making sure he's extremely loyal. And the last guy is... Governor. Ooh, he probably want to do some more loyalty for this guy because his influence is about the same level. More than enough. Governance and influence. Cool. Uh, some people declare war on each other. And cattle pigs. Some are set. Ooh, nice. Six happiness. This is looking pretty good. Less happiness if we do that. Less money if we get more happiness. We get less food if we do that. West Siax is at risk of being at a rebellion. So we're over here. I want to double check this one province down here. Totanius, zero happiness, finally. You guys are doing well, even though now you can't really go as far. How is this doing? How many soldiers are actually here in? Six. How can you move over? What I could do? Oh, we could attack this place. Ooh, that might be actually an extremely good idea. I want to attack this place, though, just because it'll unify everyone here and I can put a governor in. So what's going to happen? I'm going to switch these two guys around if I can. I'm going to move you out first. Because I don't want to take any attrition. Let's put you like here. So you can still fortify. So you can get a few more soldiers in your army. I'm going to keep this army up here though. Just because they can heal up more. Well, actually. Yeah, and so that, that these guys don't attack me. The men have and then next turn I'll move them out. That sounds like a good idea, doesn't it? I think so. You guys... Supplies, fish, farms, Lunden. They're very happy in Lunden. I like it. Ooh, more trade? Oh, yeah. Yeah, give me that trade. You guys looking good. And we're out of money, so... Let's end our turn. East Angle, what are you up to? Rebellions, hopefully? I wonder what my vassal is up to. Hopefully they don't attack me. Uh-oh. Well, looks like I'm going to kill that unit off.
Ergalia, Ergiala, Steenford, Bedenford, Defingale. Oh, yes, an upgrade first. Oh, good old Alfred. Please don't die anytime soon. You've got a pretty good wife, midwife, plus three husbands been when governing. You're maxed out at forging. You're unhealthy, though. He plays it safe. He's a war chief. He's heroic. And even more heroic. So his foraging skills are very good. He could use more melee skill for his unit, though. His personal unit. Siege Engineer. He doesn't need loyalty. Quartermaster would be good. Pillager. Quartermaster. So he can move faster. Sacking Income. Bard. Scribe. I'm thinking of Pillager. Actually, Quartermaster. You can move farther. Good. Oh, I won't be able to reach this guy. I must that would not be good. The men are ready to right, you can quit fortifying. You know what? Well, you might just attack th with this army here. Yeah, that wasn't enough. We are ready. I want to. I need to attack that guy because he'll probably take out Rutford. Screw everything up. We await your commands. Hmm. I could attack. Only one unit needs to heal up. Let's try it. Glory awaits us. Do not falter. Hmm. They don't have very many units. Attack Maintain the, the siege. And if we do get attacked, battle well, it'll be good. They have three units of spears, which isn't very strong. One unit of... Alright, well. They'll probably sack or attack Hurtford next. We cannot. I don't think they... Yeah, they either died that or sank to Albanese. Which would be quite unfortunate. The men are ready I wish you could force march, though. I wish you could also hire mercenaries, but I guess not. Leave not alive. Yeah, I should have recruited some more units before I attacked. These guys are still very unhappy. Lunden, it's okay. Trade wharf, ooh. Even more trade. What about here? Monasteries. Happiness is at 6. Let's do this. We get more happiness, and then we can also do this as well. More money from farms. Do both. Alright, and we'll call that a turn. Hopefully we don't get attacked. Hopefully they don't sack this. Oh, what are you doing, East Angle? Alright. What are you doing, Vassal? Oh, yeah, they're attacking Hootford. God dang it, you piece of garbage. Well, I'm gonna attack and kill their general. We're gonna have a great time doing so. And then we're gonna go straight for a grant to bear that place. That city up there. Alright, oh no. I arrived north of Britannia, okay. Wait. Okay, I, that, that would be interesting to see. Settlement besieged. We're doing the besieging, which is good. War declared against people I don't know. We lost a place. Oh, we developed taverns. Very good. We await your commands. Auto resolve, just butcher them. Yep. That's what you get. Cool. We will occupy God. Oh, uh, they should really adjust that. Having negative ten unhappiness for that. That doesn't make sense because they literally just took it over and then I retook it over. For this. That we gotta go back that way. Now, what are we gonna research next? Civic tech. I uh, probably more trade would sound sounds pretty good to me. More money. And then we'll probably go back to something here. Right. Upgrades. Who would like an upgrade? A governor? A fairly loyal governor. He's a preacher. A preacher man. Governance is actually really good. Less corruption. 
I like that. He's a warrior. This general, Elfval, he's extremely loyal. Extreme loyalty, which is absolutely great. Uh, you're the guy with, that, with I think, has no units, so... Quartermaster. Oh, no, you do have units. God. God. What are you doing, my vassal? Suits, yes. We will talk. Our relations are deteriorating. Give you a payment to maybe increase our relations. Oh, what is this? Small gift, a medium gift, generous gift. Gifts can be increased, increased ascending with providing no deal when demands are made. Give you a small gift. This payment makes. Okay, so it's improving our relations. That's good. Didn't cost me very much. They're still happy with us. Hopefully, they don't attack us and backstab us. How is this going? So we have what? Four turns until they surrender. Two turns until supplies run out and garrison starts suffering attrition. Barricades available. Well, we have enough supplies now. We're just going to continue sieging. Doesn't look like they have an army nearby. That'll be good. And negative nine unhappiness is not great. Guild deferred. Well, we got a little bit of money. Actually, we got quite a bit of money now. Let's see. Industry construction costs for monasteries. We can do this. More trade faction wide. I like it. Can't really build anything there. Everything costs a bunch. You have two happiness. So let's reduce your happiness. No? Maybe later? We can reduce your happiness. That'll be okay. And let us end our turn. Huntenden. Huh? Huntenden. Grantebrech. Elech. Very good. So far, our empire is looking very nice. Eventually, though, uh, I will try to play enough so I can release two videos a day, because this, this series will go on for a while, I can tell. Especially if I try an ultimate victory. That'd be... Fairly difficult, so I'm thinking on doing that. I I have stopped with the Hoi Four videos at the moment. Uh, someone did mention a couple days ago to play Empire Total War with Darth Mod enabled. That'd be interesting. And play as Bavaria. Oh no, I know for a fact that Kanak is it's Irish. Oh, birth. Oh, oh no, they're back. Wincing. Uh oh. Windstorms. Construction gas. Damaged buildings. Great, the wind things are back. Anything else? A small Viking force, huh? Nothing tells me that they're always going to keep coming back until I beat the game and don't play anymore. You guys are still looking good. Available siege equipment. Construction queue. Right, well, let's keep Leave it like that. Alive. All forces in good order. It's looking pretty good. Guide us. Do not falter. Well, it's a good thing I have an extra army coming up this way, just in case. Uh, let's build some stuff up here. Or around here. Somewhere here. More fame, more money, more happiness. Sounds good to me. Build that and then build that, and we're out of money. Yay, don't you love it when we're all out of money? No, no, you're not. No. Oh, whatever. So you're good. This other army should probably upgrade its soldiers as well. Cool, now they're really strong. It cost me a little bit more per turn, but we can afford it. So, we're going to end this episode here. Um, yeah, we're, we're definitely on the march towards killing off East Angle and its vassals, so. And we might have some Vikings to deal with soon. So guys, hope you enjoyed this episode. I hope you leave a like. I hope you subscribe. I hope to see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.